What's up guys, it's your boy Jamaica here, coming at you with another deck tech. The first deck tech of Season 9. This is my uh, Mono Blue Cloud Post deck. Uh, one of the big buzz... There's a lot of there's a lot of crazy cards that are new, either new or returning to the Penny Dreadful, or new to Penny Dreadful, but uh, one of the crazy big returners is actually Glimmer Post, uh, alongside Cloud Post here, to generate tons of big mana. Uh, the last time we saw this was actually Season 2, where they were both together, and that season was basically dominated by this combination of Cloud Post, Glimmer Post. I mean, um, a lot of the uh, control decks devolved into just blue-white, large X spell <laughs> decks. So, um, so we have this powerful mechanic back. What is the, but what is the best way, really, to utilize it? Well, in that season, and this is a really good lesson to learn, is that... Um, a lot of decks uh, tried at first to ramp into it or find it because Sylvan's Grind was actually legal at that time, but it's not legal now. And but they were just lacking. I, I feel like they were just very lacking in sort of just like direction. And what the blue white decks did was that they just used the Cloud Post, Glimmer Post combo as incidental value, in the sense that well, if you drew it, awesome, everything is going to go a lot smoother. But if you didn't draw it. You were still just fine because you were just still ramping in your own sort of ways and just still doing your own thing while um well continuing your game plan for the most part. So that's the direction I kinda of took. And this is a an Eldrazi based version. I've played it a couple of tournaments just to get kind of a feel of like how I wanted to play. And I think I'm really happy with uh where the deck is at now compared to where I started at. Because uh like I said, the deck doesn't really like need the Cloud Post Glimmer Post combo to sort of just function. It just kind of functions, and if this happens, if this, if I just happen to get like you know, turn one cloud post, turn two cloud post, turn three glimmer post, I have five mana. Yeah, I'm fine with that too. You know, I'm good. So my deck is mono blue. Um, so there's a bunch of islands. I think there's like thirteen islands here. Of course, the cloud post glimmer post combo, and I have some uh, utility lands here. Two of the spear dragon is really good. All the creatures here are basically colorless, so this is gonna give you a lot of life. It really helps you uh, swing you back into the game against aggro decks. The single Seagate Wreckage, uh, a new card here playing Dreadful, first time ever. Uh, hopefully it's pretty good. You know, I only have one. I actually don't plan being uh, empty-handed that often, but just having the one is fine. I think you can only afford, like, what is this, a 11. I can only afford having so many non-blue sources, even though I have very few blue spells. Uh, this first section is Ramp. I have three Everflowing Chalice, two Heat on Archive, and two Gilded Lotus. Uh, the Chalice and the Archive are pretty cool. Uh, archives you can just kind of cycle when they're useless later. Uh, Ch uh, Chalice is kind of scaled to itself, so I had four at first, but I wanted the second Gilded Lotus. I had to, actually had trouble just getting blue mana sometimes. The so Gilded Lotus is pretty sweet, another new addition, playing Dreadful. I've enjoyed playing with this a lot. Um, the early game was about, really about like, setting up, so you kind of want to not die. So I'll draw this Sky Spawner, and uh, my boy, Phil, you're familiar, are back. We're just kind of like help me stay alive, you know. Uh, I'll try to Sky Spawner is one of my favorite cards. Actually, it's just it just has good value. All I love value cards, so this is really valuable. Feel like friendly it has something when it comes in play and when it leaves play. It's one of my favorite creatures in Penny Dreadful's history. Uh, and then we get like the payoff here. So Pickers of Gold is like not really that big. It's actually probably a liability, but it's really good at just like stalling out the ground. Um, it's probably worse against like Mono Red because now things like Smashes for the Dreams are legal. Or then they have like Searing Spear, stuff like that. So they can just like wipe them out with one spell. But when it sticks, it's it's pretty good. And it's actually good with another card. We're gonna, one of my other new, uh, not new, but it's like one of my other favorite cards in this format. But uh, Rigor's Gulp is pretty sweet. Uh, Drowner Hoping again, another one of my old favorites. You, you remember the Hypergenesis days. This guy was a big player. And just, um, again, like it's like the same as like Rigor's Gulp. They kind of just like gum up the board. Uh, Drowner can help you kind of push through extra damage here. And then a new new addition, uh, Elder Deep Fiend. Uh, it's a flash card, so 5-6. Has emerged. I merge sometimes. I don't really a lot, but I merge like, sometimes. So it, it taps four permanents when you cast it, so it's a cast trigger. So even if the spell gets countered in some way, you still get the effect, which is pretty sweet. It's a huge tempo swing, you know, just kind of like clear the way blockers, or maybe you want your creatures to survive, so you want your upkeep, you'll like tap down a bunch of lands from your control opponent. It's got a lot of, like, fun utility. And you've kind of noticed also that I'm, these are, like, the only, like, kind of large drops I'm playing. A very mid-rangey sort of thing. You know, I don't know, 8-man is really a mid-range kind of slot, but 
I don't I don't play like Artisans and Cosmix or something huge like a Path of the Path of the Ulamog. You really want things to be like lower to the ground. I think right now the format's pretty quick with like a bunch of like turn four combo decks, turn four aggro, aggro decks, things like that. So kind of want to like get your get your things down pretty quick. So this is why I have these kind of like twelve sort of like finished slots. Uh, the other blue utility cards are pretty great. Uh, the Space of Way was in my sideboard for the longest time. Then I realized how great it is against, like, random cards. So it's not as good with, like, the token makers of, like, the Golems and the Drowner Hopes, but I think it's still just good enough. It's it's good at just, like, stalling the ground. Usually, like, for a one or a two is pretty decent. I mean, you might bounce around, like, Chalices and, like, the small, like, tokens, whatever, but... It's fine, you know, I, I, I'm pretty fine with it. And you can all get it back with a Cackling Counterpart, which is uh, one of my favorite cards. It's quickly become one of my favorite cards in the last two seasons. Uh, a combo that's always been legal that I've never actually done was a Precursor Gold and Cackling Counterpart. It's almost always been legal. They've always been legal together, so you copy like a gold with a Cackling Counterpart. It's a lot. <laughs> it's just a lot of golems because uh, Precursor Gold has that fun ability where they have an instant uh, single spell that targets a, a golem. You target all the golems in play. So I'm gonna, I am going to mess up the math. I'm just doing it in my head right now. So if you have just like three golems out, you get um, two more from the tokens, and then one uh, precursor golem gets copied. So you get um, three more. So you get five tokens. So you can just like bring this in next turn, kind of flash in cackling counterpart. All of a sudden, you've got a like 15 more power on the field. It's pretty crazy. Um, and it, the flashback is fully not out of the realm of possibility here with the, especially the Cloudless Glimmer Post sort of action. Then Factor Fiction, great spell. Um, you really just want to dig with these like post decks. They kind of like dump their hand pretty quickly. So you want a really good car, uh, card drawing spell. And Factor Fiction is perfect if you're blue. Uh, the sideboard admittedly is a bit loose. Uh, Unwind, then a new spell from Dominaria. It's a, just a really more expensive negate. It untaps lands, though, so you can have another like another unwind or maybe like a spell burst here, which is pretty great when you have a lot of mana. The flashback, uh, I'm sorry, the buyback, basically just, you know, seals seals the game for some cards. The summary dismissal, um, I'm trying it out. Uh, it's good against, like, Elder Deep Fiend triggers, uh, maybe opposing Glimmer Post triggers, like, they don't want to gain the life there. There's a lot of different triggers that it can counter. So I'm excited to see if it actually is useful. Uh, for, the format's pretty like low on graveyard hate, so Thran Foundry is kind of be like the colorless choice of graveyard hate, quote unquote. It shovels the graveyard back into uh, their opponent's library, so it's okay. You know, it's not it's it's what we got. You know, sometimes you just have to like yeah, you're you're dealt a certain hand and you kind of have to play it. You know, so here we are here with Thran Foundry. Orbs of Warding is my kind of like. It's kind of like when I played the domain deck last season. Really good against like aggro decks. Kind of shuts down like the mono, like half of a mono red um, strategy where they just want to burn your face. So if the plan is to like kind of gum up the board and the other half is like them throwing spells at you, then Orbs of War is going to stop that. Uh, next turn, slice away for the aggro decks and <laughs> the funny card annex is for like the mirror matches where I want to steal their cloud posts. Uh, you have to remember with cloud posts is that uh, they each they add uh, one color spent for each locus in play. In play, not just on your side. So, if you're playing a Cloud Post Mirror, your best bet is to have a Cloud Post out. And Annex will just take it back. You take their Cloud Post, and all of a sudden you have all the power. So, that'll be funny just to pull off. Um, I'm going to play in a league today. Uh, I haven't played with this specific list, though. And I have, though, played with other Eldrazi Post versions in the first two terms I played in. And with like middling success, not really that great for my standards. But uh, hopefully the league will go a little better, so uh, I will catch you then. <sighs> All right, we got a match with our uh, Any Dreadful Mono Blue Cloud Post deck. Good luck, says the bot. Thank you, I'll need it. Six land, Fratic Fiction can't lose. It's turn three, Factor Fiction, actually. Actually, a turn three, Factor Fiction. There we go. I'm going to keep. Quicker if my opponent is also playing Cloud Posts. Oh. This is the uh, matchup where I actually want to draw every Glimmer Post possible because they gain a lot of life. 
I drew another land, which is not great. Not to... I don't mind this matchup. Songs I can, like, set up. I have a lot of tools to just kind of, like, stall the game. Like, um... Like, he's Glimmer Post, for example. And, like, uh, main deck filler you're familiar is really good. Uh, Drowsy Sky Smart is very good. Uh, they just block all day. That's what you want to do against red deck. You just want to block. But this is a good start for my opponent. I also would like to draw... Slay some wave. That'd be really nice. Um, this is a little slow right now, but I'm going to gain two here. This fact fishing really needs to hit well. Like I said, like the incidental life gain is just so good in the Glimmer Pose. But now Red has like the ability to play Flames of Blood Hand, which uh, prevents life gain, which is uh, a really good card. <laughs> It's not, it's not yet been seen before in that Penny Dreadful, I believe. Someone can correct me on that, but I'm pretty sure of that. Um, I could Chalice for two, but I'd rather just Fact Fiction. Really need to find anything. Anything to, like, slow us down. This is seven. I need to find a Swayze of Wave start us over. Might be too slow at this point. I feel like he's got three cards on his hands. It's going to be a flurry of burn spells. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, give me all the three drops. Um, thing. I think I'll take all this. But draw another like cloud post. It's really good. This will give me a little bit of life and like start blocking some things. The the drowner hope is actually just really good at just like stalling. And I drew sky spawner. It's good. So I have five mana. Um. I get chalice for two, play a fill you're familiar, I guess. But if you if you have if he has flames here, then I pretty much die. So but he's just gonna hold up flames for the rest of the game, right? So maybe it's like chalice for two, play the sky spawner. I think that's the play. The next turn I can hold up elder deep fiend and just kind of like hope to not die. I'm just really looking at flames here. This way I can block the uh, Strongford Global and actually trade with the Village Messenger with my uh, Scion token. See? Flames. Red. But I I'm pretty much dead to like Attack with this guy, any burn spell. Ooh, desert. That is the burst on the kicker here. Okay. Actually does it. Yeah, I'm dead. Dead to Raging Goblin. These, like, random deserts are really good. Especially with that Raven Ramp Room, which is also legal in the format now. The hand was a bit slow, but I, I can do a lot better. Orbs are coming in. Uh, the last of Slice of Waves coming in. Spellburst is like okay. It's actually not terrible, but it's probably like because I have the orbs, it's pretty much good enough. I can just cut the big stuff, basically. Precursor is okay, but like I said, it just eats a burn spell. That's just good enough. Okay, let's try that. Right, there's an argument with playing more uh, Drowners and less Deep Fiends. But that's probably just better. Let's see if I have time to do this. It's just a click, click, click. Okay, good. Because uh, the Drowners will come down a lot quicker, at least. The, the Deep Fiends are fine, but Drowners will just, like, save me a lot of the times. 
Mm. This is kind of a slow hand. This is basically like, I basically have to rely on a good draw. I have a cloud post in my hand. If I draw another cloud post, it's actually really good. So yeah, I'll, I'll try it. I just have double blue, which is kind of important. I somehow live to turn like five. We have a chalice for one. I could draw like a factor fiction or just any creep, any three drop. Well, oh, one drop is really good for me. Not a good draw. Remember, we have the remember we have the right click this. We have to multi kick. If you just click it, you'll just cast it. I've heard many complaints lately about that. The function of fire miniature. Okay. New addition here. Hopper. Hopper All Star. Oh, now I have five mana. That's pretty good. The next turn, the Drowner comes down, and then I have the counterpart for the Drowner. And I'm I'm, all, I'm not even taking damage yet, so I'm. This game's looking up. No attacks. Interesting. Not sure why he didn't attack there. I, I don't know what he thinks I could have there for a flash creature. And, and also the Tomb of Spirit Dragon, which I didn't really notice it was in my hand for a while. Lava Dart. I love Lava Dart. Love me a Lava Dart. Especially it's really good with the flashback because he kind of pinged me. But okay. Rivalry. Rivalry. But I don't actually have to play any more lands. I'll play one more land, which is this land. <laughs> Pretty good. I'm I'm getting in there for everybody. With everybody, actually. I don't mind if they trade here. Do not mind that. Took it. Moxie just gaining three a turn anyway. Five next turn, because I'm going to counterpart my guy. Six, actually. He'll be six. I do not care about the rival fleet. Now that I have this out, this game's actually over. This game's actually over. Unless he somehow like super kills us. There's a possibility. It could, there's multiple spells that can kill this. Okay. <laughs> also, I have flashback uh, capability this turn. Flames. Flames in response before I actually activate the tomb is kind of bad. <laughs> I'm just gonna gain it. I'm gonna do it first with this on the stack. It has waited for me to try to gain six. First me. Sure. It's totally acceptable. Meanwhile, I'm gonna I'm actually gonna attack him for lethal. He forgot. He forgot I have 13 power in the field. I, I, okay, I guess I drew well. <laughs> Basically, I drew a Glimmer Post, and that was a pretty good draw. I had to draw well, and I drew a Glimmer Post. Okay. <laughs> and I drew the cap. Did I draw the counter? I don't know. No, I didn't. I had the counter in my hand. I drew a Glimmer Post. That's, that's, that's that kind of how the matches go. <laughs> I drew a Glimmer Post. Okay, let's run it back. The only thing that uh, is good about... Well, I mean, the good thing about Fireman Archer, or the, my opponent, rather, is that it does not target. Um, so Orbs of Warning actually can't wait. But the Fireman Archer deals damage, 
So the orbs does stop it because of the second part. Doesn't matter my hexproof part. Nice. <laughs> orbs of warning is so good. <laughs> orbs is so good. Ugh. I draw a third land. This is pretty great. Um, especially if it's a cloud post. So I guess I'll keep. And I second island be good too, but. Another cloud post or a glowing post, so this is like the best draw. Okay. Messer's gonna transform. Um, he's probably just gonna like play a Stormblood. Oh, no, another Messer. Do we keep a one lander? So, depending on what he does next turn, if he plays a second land, because he's going to flip another Village Messenger, I might have to just, okay, he plays two lands. I just might have to wave anyway. This is pretty, this is already a lot of damage. He plays a Stormblood, that's pretty good. Um, this is still five damage, which is pretty bad, but... Kind of like what I need to do right now. It sucks they're all raging goblins. I really need to miss another land drop, but that's not like a good strategy. It's like hell, hopeless land drop. I didn't make my land drop, so that's pretty good. But kind of like, I mean, I do have this tomb, which is okay. I'm only I'm at seven. It's not a big deal. Oh, another ooh. I could wave for two, but it's like now I'm at five. I could be just dead to a spell. Tomb. I didn't draw a glimmer post at all, so that's really bad. I'm, I'm gonna go to nine, and I can I have the ability to block a village messenger if needed. It doesn't do anything to try to flip the um the village messenger. I just wave for two. Especially if I draw a Glimmer Post. If I draw a Glimmer Post, it's actually the best draw. Desert. I also have the ability to emerge this guy if I need to. Like, save myself a turn and make a 5 6. I also see an all out attack and then flames me, but I can't really stop. Dang it. <laughs> or double burn spell or something. All right, all right. That just had to happen. Um, my hand was okay, not great, but I think he just drove a second land. That's what happened. <laughs>